were two areas again that we uh, we addressed at halftime. We gave up uh, gave up 11 offensive rebounds and another nine in the first half. But uh, you think you you hold the team to 50 points and 23 in the first half? You're doing a great job defensively, but this is a third. This is a very un uncharacteristic of our basketball team. Uh, it's the third straight game we turned it over. Uh, we've turned it over 20, 21, and now 20 again. Um, and against three teams that haven't pressed us or trapped us all over the place. So uh, I think the two areas are, are fixable. But we gotta we gotta turn back, turn uh, get back to practice next two days and address those two issues and get ready to play Friday. Let's see if you can talk about Andrea and just the way she kind of I mean, got within two points there. You call a timeout, and, and she seemed to really carry the team the rest of the way. Well, we tried to get her the ball in space, like you said, off that side out, and we isolated her, you know, and then, you know, you, that's one thing in those last three, four minutes, I think you got to get your best player in basketball, you know, and uh, she had a good night. She was 50% from the floor. That's one of the things that we addressed. Her shot selection has really improved. You know, she's shooting close to 48 from the floor, uh, shooting a very big number from three as well. But, I mean, Greg, we got to have one of these guys, Sasha, Kenesha Saunders, Courtney Williams. Yeah, yeah, they got to play more consistent at the point guard spot. You know, uh, we lost. You know, we're, we're not going to get the Spain kid back. We lost Stringfield. But so we, we need other people to step up and, and, and take care of the basketball and get us in the flow of things and make better decisions. Well, say in terms of post play, in terms of rebounding, it's just that that was an area you, you had talked about coming into things. Did you feel like there's progress there? Not today. I thought right. the last two two games, I mean, you look at our look what we did at Clemson and against Texan, uh, and how well we, we rebounded. But again, I, I think I think you know, we're playing ten eleven guys and Mixing up our, our pressure and our trapping and war Bradley down a little bit, but we got to get a better better return for uh, for what we're doing in the full court defensively. Andrea came alive in the last few minutes. She scored the last 16 points for uh, 18 through 10. Can you just comment on how her game came alive? Gave her the basketball and she, you know, she made shots. Uh, we're fortunate. She's a very good basketball player. You know, and, uh, and I thought, you know, she attacked the basket. And, you know, at the end of the game, she, you know, so that's what very good players do. They take over, you know, and uh, you know, give her the opportunity to do that. So, Is there something you guys can work on in practice to, to limit the turnovers? Is like how how do you approach that as a coach? Well, a lot of them are unforced. I think it's, it's just a value for basketball. How do we address it? Well, you know, we run for three hours. I don't know. You know they'll, get, they'll take care of the ball because they're going to be sick of running. Uh, how do you fix the rebounding? It's all effort. Put a couple bubbles up and you let them go to war and fight and fist fight and, and, and make, it, make the paint just a miser miserable. Pushing from behind, being active, hitting, hitting them with dummies. I thought today we, we really, you know, rebounding is all about toughness. And um, we have a lot of athleticism, but we just did not make contact. And we were more concerned about getting out and running rather than rebounding. You know, um, the lack of height, you know, that, that doesn't concern me because we've got plenty of athleticism. It's about initiating the contact, you know, and demanding. they got to be more demanding of each other and hold each other more accountable that, hey, we're not going to give up second and third shots. The reason why we didn't go to the NCAA tournament, we lost to West Virginia at home and Rutgers at home and Georgetown at home. They're all, you know, single-digit games the last three minutes because we didn't rebound. 